Hey fellow writers, this is Rich Blazevich. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own author website. And I'm gonna show you how to do it using Google Sites, which is a really user-friendly, really easy and free way to build a website. Before I get started, I do wanna invite you to watch the webinar that I have playing on my website for free. And you can go to that site right now, you can click on the webinar and you can learn how to jumpstart writing your book. So if you want a little extra boost, a little motivation to help you write your book, go to the link in the description for this video, click on it, and it will take you to that webinar. Now let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own author website on Google Sites. And as I said, there are a few reasons I really like Google Sites. The first reason is it's free. Google gives you a free website and you can put content up there, you can share it with the world at no cost to you. It's also very user friendly. As I'm gonna show you in the tutorial in this video, it is a step-by-step -step simple process to put your content up on your website. Another big benefit is that site is searchable. So when somebody is looking for content and they go to Google and they search for that content, if you have a Google website, that site is much more likely to get shown than a site that's not a Google website. So once you build your author website, it becomes very easily searchable by Google. And then one more reason I like Google Sites is it's very easy to add features. So if you wanna add online shopping, it's easy to add it. If you wanna add other features, if you wanna add videos, if you wanna add something else that you want a website to do, you can expand your website as far as you want to expand it. Now let me show you how to build a basic author website using Google Sites. The first thing I want you to do is go to google.com and make sure you're signed in. You should see your Google account listed here. If you don't, you might see a sign in button there. Just click on the sign in button and sign into Google. If you don't have an account yet, just follow the directions to create a Google account. But once you sign into your account, then type in sites.new. And when you do that, it will create a new website for you. And this is gonna turn into your author website. I want you to start by entering the site name and do it up here in the top left corner. And your site name might be your author name. So let me put Rich Blazevich as my site name. And then I'm gonna add a title to my page. And you can change this at any point. So let me just start out with author page for Rich Blazevich. And you can put your name, you can put author name, you can put whatever you want here. You can change the font at any point. So if that font's too small for you, you can make it bigger. If you want it centered, you can center it. You can make it bold. All of these little features up here are super user friendly. So you can change anything you want. You can change the font style, the font size, bold, italics, underline, the color of the font. You can put a link in there. You can change the direction, whether the text is aligned left, center, right, or justified. You can trash anything. So right now, if I hit trash, that will delete this text box that I have here. And then you can also add things. So if you want to add a text box below this, you can hit text box and it automatically puts it here and you can put whatever you want in this text box. So you could say, check out my new book. And then you can change the background. This little palette here lets you change the section background. When you click on that, here's something fun. You can change it into an image. So you can select an image that Google has automatically. And if you don't want one of these images, you can search for an image. So let's say I want the image to look like a book and it goes out to Google Images and it picks images that are available for books. So here is a nice one right there, a little bookshelf. I'm gonna insert that and now there's a bookshelf right there on my website. You can still add text and let's make this text bold so it's a little easier to read and let's center it. So there we go. There's a start of a really good author page. Now, when you think about what should be on an author page, I like to put the author's picture. So let's click on image. I'm gonna upload an image of me and it will automatically put the image below whatever I've added onto the web page. And if you want to shrink the image, you can just click on it to highlight it and then grab one of these little blue dots. 
and you can shrink it down, you can make it bigger, you can also move it around on the page. So if you want your image to be on the right, you slide it over there. If you want it on the left, you slide it over there. And then let me add a text box. I'm gonna grab it here. There's a little grab button here that when you grab it and you pull it around, it will move it. Now, if I want a text box next to my image, what I'll do is I'll go over to one of these layouts and here's a layout here that says image with text next to it. And I'll click on that and that inserts an area that has an image spot and text space next to it. So I'm gonna drag my picture down there. Now I wanna change the shape of it because it automatically put the image in the shape. So if I drag this, that changes the shape. So there we go. If you ever wanna delete something, if you don't want this text box anymore, just put it in the trash, click on the trash again, and there's the picture of me. So I'm gonna put about, and then you can just type in whatever you want for your about section. So Rich Blazevich, and then you can play around. If you want the picture to be a little bit smaller, you can shrink it down. If you want the text box to be a little bit bigger, you can make it bigger and keep playing with it until you have a design that you like. Now let's say I wanna add another picture and text box below this. Just click on whatever size and shape you want. There's another one. Maybe I want a picture of my book on here, so I'm going to upload a picture from my computer onto the web page. And again, the shape did not turn out the way I want it, so I'm just gonna drag the little blue buttons until I get the shape. There's my book cover. And in this text box, I'm gonna put in information about my book. And then there's one more section I recommend for author sites, and that is updates. So tell readers anything they might wanna know about what's going on with you and your books. So go ahead and add updates. Here, I'm gonna go out onto Google and look for images. So I'm gonna do a Google image search, and I'm gonna look for something that I can put for announcements. And just kind of flip through here, and maybe this one right here. That might be a good image to have on my site. Double click on that, and there is an updates image. I'm gonna drag this over so it aligns, and that is how easy it is to do a website. When you're ready to publish it, just click on this little blue button up here that says publish, and it asks you for a website address. The site address is going to be sites.google.com slash view slash whatever name you give it. So I'm gonna give it my name, Rich Blazevich, and that will create a website, and then anytime I wanna send the website to people, I just give them that website address. If you ever forget the website, you just go up here to this little link button and that shows you the site is sites.google.com slash view slash Rich Blazevich. This page is called homepage and if you don't put the home in there, if you just copy the link without the home, it'll still take you to the same place and you paste it there. This shows you what people will see when they go to that page. Then you can email this to people, you can post it on your social media. It is now Google searchable, so when people search for keywords, Google will be able to search my page and find that my page has those keywords on it. You can add blog articles, you can add videos, you can add an e-commerce platform, you can add whatever you want to the Google Sites pages. You can also add multiple pages. So this is the home page. I could go in and click on pages, add another page. I could change the themes so it uses different colors and fonts and just keep playing with it until you get a site that you really like. You might wanna put in links to where people can buy your book. So don't forget to give them a place to buy your book. My favorite place to have people buy my book is Amazon because Amazon gives me really good royalties. So I always try and drive traffic to the Amazon site. You can go to amazon.com and then search for your book. And once you find your book, just click on it. Choose the format of book you want people to purchase, whether it's paperback or Kindle, or if you have an audiobook, that's an option. So I want people to buy my paperback book and I am just gonna grab the link here on the top of the page, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna go to my website, and I'm gonna paste it in my website. The way you paste a link is highlight the text that you want to be the link, click on this insert link button, and paste the link there. So now, whenever somebody clicks on this button, they'll be able to buy my book. I'm gonna make it really big so they can see it easily, make sure it's bold, and now people go to my author website, they read a little bit about me, they see my book, they buy it now, and then they see updates. Updates could be anything from 
Are you publishing a different version of your book? Do you have a blog article you want them to check out? Maybe you're doing YouTube videos or you're doing podcasts or maybe you've been interviewed. So put whatever you want under that update section and that way people who are interested in your book get to see what's going on with you. Now one nice feature about Google is it's easy to find your website whenever you want. Anytime you wanna edit your website, just go to sites.google dot com you don't need the new at the end and when you go there it will show you all of your website so I've got the author website that I just created and then I've also built a website for my local writers group you can build as many free sites as you want on Google up to a certain size limit but I don't think you'll ever reach that size limit if you're just doing basic author websites and writing group websites and then you just click on the site that you want to edit you go in, you make your changes to the site, and then you hit publish. It'll show you what your updated site will look like, and it'll show you the site that you are changing, what it currently looks like, and what it will look like after you publish it. So I'm gonna publish the changes that I've made, and now my site is up and live, and people can find it, and people can read about me and the books that I've written. And they can do the same thing for you once you've built your author web page on Google Sites. As you can see, it's really easy to build an author website using Google Sites. So your action steps for this video are, first of all, build your author site and just go into Google Sites, build it the same way I showed you how to build it in this video. And then what I want you to do next is start playing around with it. Start adding features, start redesigning the page, try and make it look a little bit more like you. I know the site that I built was fairly boring, but at least it's a start. And then you can add your own design flair to it. You can add features. You can add elements that you think really brings it to life and represents you and the books that you're publishing. Hopefully that's been helpful. Hopefully now you can build your own author website. I do want to remind you to check out that writer's workshop that I've got on my website. Just go to the description for this video, click on the link, and that link should take you to the Jumpstart Writing Your Book workshop. You can watch it. It should give you a boost of motivation. It should give you some good tips on how to write the book that you want to write and publish. Again, I hope this video has been helpful. Best wishes and happy writing.